Anytime I walk into a room, I think people hate me. So I'm yeah. not going to talk to you. You get a lot of hate. Yeah, I do get a lot of hate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what? So, so <laughs> why do you think it is? Just because you, I mean, bro, it's because it's, you're just a human. You got your opinion. Yeah. So, I don't, you know, obviously some of the hate is unwarranted, but over time, I, you, you get to realize it's like it comes with the territory. Yeah. Right. If you're going to, if you're going to have these opinions that are, super polar or these hot takes that might put other people in, in a negative light, no one's going to just be like, oh, we just respect him because he's telling the truth. Like usually with humans, it's like if you say if you say what you believe is your honest opinion about something, if it's favorable to someone, they'll be like, yo, Brad's keeping it real. He's a real dude, bro, right? Yeah. But like obviously if you say something that goes against him, they're going to be like, yo, this dude's a f***ing hater. You know what I mean? I don't like this guy. So Sounds like I, something that I'm that – I'm- what what I heard about it, we was just <laughs> what, so so with me, it, it became one of those, and and I, I'm gonna tell you another reason why why I became so like polarized and like disliked it was like because I didn't have those relationships with people, it was easier to just speak as a fan. Yeah. Hey, that's not good. I don't like it. These days, like I get like the rappers who are rolling. Sh- out, they're calling me like they're trying to butter you up. Yo, you come to my show, blah blah blah. Not when they drop their That's music, crazy. they're kind of looking at you like, yo, dog, like I gave you this whole experience at my show, uh, blah blah blah. You're gonna call you my shit whack. Be, you still gotta be honest. Kai's going through that now. Kai just had a whole stream of offset, 48 hours. He listens to the album for some of the tracks. He's like, I don't think this is it. Trust me, offset's hitting him like, yo, dog, like, how could you say that? Like, I was at your house for 48 hours, bro. But you gotta be honest though. Hey, the, the, you know, and we talked about that briefly last night. If you, so rappers to me are influencers, but rappers are like the most narcissistic <laughs> yeah, of any influencers sure. you'll ever meet. For sure. Where the world, like the sun revolves around them. And yeah, so dealing with those people, like you're being, you're saying I'm being honest. They're like, you're honest. You're like, you're my man. Don't even say it. If you don't like it, keep it quiet. You get what I mean? That's yeah. that's how they take it, right? Okay, if you don't like it, don't verbalize it. Because now, the, like, and I've had this conversation with many of them. Oh, you're going to influence other people that watch you to not like my stuff. And if we're friends, why would you want to do that? Yeah, yeah. And you're like, well, it's kind of like been my thing. That's why I even got to know you, right? I've yeah. been giving my opinion, good or bad. And I got to know you, and I'm not giving my opinion, good or bad. But now you don't like it anymore. Yeah. Do you like that? Crazy. So, it what happens. do you think about what do you think about the the Joe Budden and the Drake thing? Him giving his opinion on that. Oh, that was kind of interesting, bro. So, because uh, he didn't like the album, he was because what I saw was like he's saying that basically like Drake should be singing about some other because he's older. That's kind of what I got out of it. Um, yes and no. And I feel like that guy goes way back. Yeah, they have yeah. some personal. Shit. All right. This is the Drake conversation that's happening now, and I'm one of the huge, the biggest Drakes. Like, yeah, I mean, me I, I, I'm like, I have these viral clips of like, there's a viral clip of like sickle mode where I had no idea he was on it, like me fucking freaking out when I hear Drake's voice. Yeah, I saw that. And um, that. you know, I'm one of those like day one Drake fans. But what happens when you have an artist as great as Drake for so long, and it probably happens to internet creators or like just creators in general, you start feeling like they belong to you. I, so to give a comparison, it's probably the same way how the day one Nelk fans feel about Nelk. Like, yeah, they'd yeah. probably be like, yo, hey, listen, we know what Nelk is. Yeah. And you, if if you need to give us this for us to be satisfied, while, you know, like Kyle and everybody, they, they're growing and they're they're doing different things, right? Yeah. And at a point, the creator, or like the rapper in a sense, almost loses the control of their own career because their fans are pigeonholing them into what they want from them. Yeah. We want this. So... The older fans, like me, the day ones for Drake, we're all saying, yo, we love these three albums here. Nothing was the same. Take care. No, man. We, like th- we want that type of style of music, right? And someone told me the best thing, I've repeated this like a million times so far. You know, unfortunately, hip-hop ages is such a f***ing important factor where it's all about the youth. It's the youth, the youth, the youth. Drake turned 37 two days ago, yeah. right? And granted, in the scheme of life, that is not old. It is right. not old to be right. 37. But in hip-hop, you're not seen as trendy. You're not seen as the young guy anymore. 
And someone told me this about Drake, which I think this is exactly what happened. He's at a fork in a road where he has to either choose to kind of keep his music appeasing to his older fans and grow with them, right? Because they're the people like, yo, I remember 10 years ago when you dropped this. So, like, you're almost trying to keep, like, doing sequels to what they like, right? Yeah, I get Or it. you're going to be like, yo, listen, there's new 16 to 21-year-olds that like this different sound. There's a yeet. That like the yeet yeah, and shit like that. One. And I'm going to go make music that's going to appeal to them, yeah. right? It's a very complex thing. The, the, the only caveat about that, which, which I learned about just age, and I think it's going to apply to all creators if you want to be in this a long time. If you continually chase the youth, they'll never love you as much as the other guy that's now young. The people who love that sound of Yeet, yeah, they like that Drake is going into his world and doing songs with Yeet, but they'll never love Drake as much as they love Yeet. Just like I would never love Yeet more than I love Drake. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I get you. Like, Drake is Drake to me. Yeah. To them, Drake is the guy who's decent with Yeet. You get what I mean? Like, yeah. they're not looking at Drake like, oh, this is the GOAT with Yeet. They're like, no, Yeet's the GOAT. Like the sixteen year old is not looking at Drake like it's that. It's just different generation, man. And, and it's, it's about which way you look. So the Joe Budden thing, I think he gave a, a valid critique, but he fucked up. He made it personal. And I talked to Drake about this. And when I talked to Drake, I had critiques too because I'm, I'm I'm one of those day one fans. And I was shocked by his response to Joe, but he clarified it to me. He said, "Yo, check this out. I don't mind if you criticize my music. I've been in this a long time. Yeah. So when I dropped Take Care." A lot of people said that was, was soft. But the times were changing. And years later, they called it classic. So he's one of those people that say, I I'm down for you to trash it at first, but come back around later. Yeah. He got mad at Joe over personal attacks. He's like, yeah. yo, you're hanging with little niggas, like little kids, and yeah. you're just f***ing these little young girls, which, you know what I mean? Like, again, that's where the ageism comes in. Like, if you're like a guy near 40 and someone just randomly says, yo, you're just and the little 20 year old girls. Yeah, it when he seems talked weird, about it. It's like, right? why are you saying that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that's where that comes in. But um, for me, when I talked to Drake about it, I was just like, I just wanted to make sure that I call him the greatest artist of all time. I need to make sure that he was in the space where he still could be criticized. I thought he was just like, he felt objectionable to anything that was criticism. He's like, no, that's not what it is. Yeah, he cooked him in that response no, on he Instagram. Did. It was really fucking, no, he, like, he really cooked him. Like, like he, the whole thing, it was bad. Well, like t word for word, he just went. Tw, 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 tw. It was bad. That, that was one of those. Well, it, it, this is why Drake is also good too. Like, like on a cerebral level, like he's gonna break down your whole career. He's like, yo, yeah. like you're the definition of what a failure is. Bro. Someone who couldn't do it then quit. Like, and that, that talks about it. Yeah, and that stings. You get what I mean? Like, like yeah. he said shit there that stung. And that's why I also knew I'm like, like unbeknownst to people, like I think there's like some, maybe some mutual girls in the mix back in the day. With that. Real, it's always probably, that. Probably, Yo, probably. no, no, there is like there's been like raps about her. Shit. Like yeah. there's it's always some girls in the mix. So that's why I was like, you know what, stay out of this Joe Budden shit. Look. Yeah, you know what's interesting too with the Drake stuff, like going back on music and being like, oh, this this hits. I felt the same way about honestly, never mind. Mm. I was at first I was like, I'm not with this, and I'm a huge Drake fan. Yeah, and then yeah. I listened to it like months later. And I get this shit like play by play by play, like on repeat. Fuck with it now. Nah, I love it. It's just a completely different vibe. Like it was just like it was just something. And I guess that's what must be so hard in the music space is like, cause if if the same, this is the crazy thing. The people who are like, yo, we want old Drake, right? Drake's gonna post some old, like say he made some music that was like his old stuff, and yeah. it's gonna be like, this is the same shit you already made. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. the same people who say we want the old stuff. <laughs> yeah. If he did that, they'd be like, bro, why are you making the same music? It's such a weird thing. So. As an artist, it's like me looking in. Obviously, I'm not a fucking artist, but they obviously have to keep progressing with the times, with the music. They can't, like, just like a creator, can't make the same fucking bench press video. Like, I can't be a fitness guy and be like, this is how you bench every fucking week. You got to make something new. And f for these, these like, high, high-level artists, it's like every single motherfucker in the world is looking at them like, what's next? And, like, they, it's like they have to be so precise with the way they make the music going forward. At the same time, like you said, like, not stepping on the toes of the the... the beginning fans and like trying to move forward with the new fans so it's like obviously it's a hard f situation and but it is funny to see like the the beef and like the personal like with those guys like and see how they just go at each other i just think it's hilarious